Brad is the most annoying guy in our office, uh, maybe the world. We share a cubicle and mornings are rough. Good morning. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <clears throat> that was the Truman, Truman Show. Yeah. Got it. Well, all righty then. The first time Brad's dad messaged me on seeking arrangements, he told me his son had a problem. I assumed it was a drug problem, but he said no. Worse. I met Brad in a chat room for Shrek fans. I thought it was cool that he knew every line from Shrek, but then a few weeks in, I realized that he knew every line from every movie. I can't live with him another day if I have to hear him shout through the walls, this is Sparta, before he comes. This is Sparta! Oh! He masturbates twice every morning. Here's Brad. Oh. Instead of Johnny, so. Oh. Taylor? Taylor? Why so serious? Oh God. This is an intervention because your entire personality is quoting movies and it's pissing everybody off. It's a trap. What? Son. Are you ashamed of your personality? No. It's Christopher Walken, catch me if you can. Yeah, I got it. You're quoting Christopher Walken saying no. Yes. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I have a speech I want to read. Um, Brad, we've shared an office space for three years. Excuse me, I've I don't have your stapler. And that's a thousand times you've quoted office space. You set me up. Even there, I can tell you're quoting a movie, even though I don't know which one it is. I can't, I just, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. Okay, I can tell what you're all thinking. Why, oh why, didn't I take the blue pill? No. No. Okay, Brad, I obviously love your dedication to film, but I've never seen you be yourself. So it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be really hard. And we're gonna have to work at this every day. But I want to do that. If you don't stop, we can't date anymore. Okay? He's quoting The Notebook. Yeah. I hate that movie. Why are you dating this guy? Because dating in New York is impossible. That's why you gotta get a sugar daddy. That's gross, that's... A uh, clever girl. God, shut up! Do you want to know why no one comes to our apartment? It's because they can't have a conversation without you quoting a movie. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. What she's saying, son, is just because we have chiseled abs and stunning features doesn't mean that we can't not die in a freak gasoline fight accident. I wish I knew how to quit you. Not like these. Not like these. I am grouped. I have nipples, Fokker. Can you milk me? It's like looking in a mirror. Only not. Lilu Dallas, multipass. Show me the money. There's no crying in baseball. You guys are right. I'm so sorry. I'm pathetic. Oh, oh. that's great. You know, Brad, I actually, I collected all your DVDs and we're gonna take you somewhere and they're gonna help you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about all this stupid nonsense. I'm really embarrassed right now. Can I just say one more thing? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Hi, there he goes. Hey, I'm Gus Johnson. Check out some of the other videos that I shot with Comedy Central this week, and someone will reply to you from Comedy Central, I think. Is this like a Make-A-Wish thing or what? I don't know, click some shit.